It's said that cacti taste different depending on the time of day they're picked. So, what's the secret behind cacti? Today, we're taking a closer look at cacti. We've got three types of cacti here to show you. Aren't they charming? First up, what exactly is a cactus? A cactus is a member of the cactus family, within the broader succulent category. Succulents are those tough plants that store water to survive in dry places. Some of them have even changed their leaves into spikes, or got rid of them to be better at dealing with not having much water. We call these tough ones cacti. But just because a plant has spines doesn't mean it's a cactus. For example, roses have thorns too, and there are some plants that look a lot like cacti, but aren't. Now, let's uncover two characteristics that help distinguish true cacti from their lookalikes. First off, let's talk about the special spots on cacti where spines come out. These spots are called areoles, not stigmas. If you look closely at a cactus, you'll see spines sticking out from these little bumps. Take this cactus, for example. It has lots of spines coming out from each little bump. Not just spines, but cactus branches and flowers start from these bumpy areas too. Now here's something cool. While spines on other plants might be part of the stem, cactus spines are actually turned into leaves. If you could look at a cactus spine really close, like with a magnifying glass, it might look more like plastic than something living. These spiky leaves help the cactus save water, and keep animals from eating them. So, the cactus has these spiky leaves, and the big, chunky part is called the stem. The way the stem looks is what makes a cactus look like a cactus. Cacti are super cool plants that can do things differently. They can grow new parts in all sorts of directions. And if a part of them breaks off, no worries. It can actually start growing roots and turn into a brand new cactus on its own. It's like cacti have a secret power to clone themselves. Interesting, isn't it? Cacti are pretty smart too. Instead of using leaves to soak up sunlight for food, they use their stems. Since their leaves have turned into those sharp spikes, the stem does all the work. Ever curious about what the roots of a cactus look like? Imagine pulling a cactus out of the ground, shaking off the dirt, rinsing it, and then taking a close look at its roots. You'd see that they're pretty thin and don't look very strong. When I check out other cacti, their roots are pretty much the same. Cacti roots usually spread out just under the surface of the ground, instead of going deep. This way, they can quickly soak up water whenever it rains. Cacti are like nature's water bottles. They store water in a gooey substance inside their stems. If you cut open a stem, you'll find this sticky, jelly-like stuff inside. Cut open different cacti, and you'll find they all have this moist, spongy inside. And there's this one cactus that, when you cut into it, looks like a star on the inside. This star-shaped part in the middle is called the pith. Around this gooey center, you'll see areas called vascular bundles. That's where the cactus moves water and food around. Cacti have a super cool trick. They can hold on to more than 90% of their water. This means they can drink up a bunch of water quickly with their roots and then hang on to it, which is perfect for living in really dry places. Some cactus seeds are actually used as food. And here's a surprising fact. The taste of a cactus can change based on when it's picked. This means cacti taste different in the morning compared to the afternoon. This change in taste is all because of the special way cacti make their food with sunlight. During the process of making their food, 
which is called photosynthesis. Plants have these tiny openings called pores that let them breathe in carbon dioxide from the air. But in places that are really dry, if plants open these pores too much, they can lose a lot of water very quickly. That would be like us sweating a lot on a hot day and not drinking enough water to stay hydrated. Cacti have figured out a clever trick to avoid losing too much water. Instead of doing all their photosynthesis work during the day like most plants, they split the job into two parts. They do one part at night and the other during the day. Here's the cool part. At night, when it's cooler and they won't lose as much water, cacti open their pores wide to grab a bunch of carbon dioxide from the air. They turn this carbon dioxide into a substance called malic acid and store it inside them until morning. Then, when the sun comes up, they close their pores to keep as much water inside as possible and use that stored malic acid to help make their food during the day. It's a really clever way to make sure they don't dry out, don't you think? So, because of their special way of making food, cacti end up with a lot of malic acid at night. This acid helps them make food during the day. By the time afternoon rolls around, there's less malic acid left. Malic acid is what makes things taste sour. So that's why a cactus might taste different if you pick it in the morning versus the afternoon. Cacti are also special because they can make flowers, get pollinated, and then grow fruits, just like other flowering plants. Lots of cacti fruits are yummy to eat, and they usually have lots of tiny seeds inside. Take the dragon fruit, for example. When you cut one open, you'll see it's packed with seeds. There's a good reason for all those seeds. In the desert, where it's super dry, having a lot of seeds means there's a better chance some will grow into new cacti. Isn't it amazing how smart cacti are to survive in the desert? That's all we've got for today. If you liked learning about cacti with us, please subscribe to our channel. This is Fishy Science, where we explore all the cool mysteries of nature.